Hey Aquarius, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that all is well with you. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aquarius signs. So let us take a look at the important messages coming in. This will not resonate for all Aquarius out there. As this is a general reading, please make sure that you also check your other signs for important messages. Also want to thank each and every one of you for all your support. If you're also new here, hopefully you can subscribe and be part of the family. Aquarius, please don't forget to comment down below. Or you may also like and share this video if it resonates. I would truly appreciate that. So with that said, let us begin. Messages please for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We ask for insight and guidance please for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let's get the deck and let's see what comes up. So first card out here, we have the Empress, the World card, and the Two of Wands. Wow. It's a very reinventing time in your life, Aquarius. You feel brand new, a different energy, a different perspective on things. Okay, this is the World card saying that you are closing a chapter of your life and as a result there is growth and expansion in all levels it almost feels like you are definitely stepping into your power out into the sun expressing yourself your authentic self spreading so much light and positivity you're also being seen by others as you have bounced back from a situation as a different person completely reinventing your energy your aura okay people around you notice okay it's also saying here that you have made an executive decision to leave a sense of familiarity or comfort zone in your life you're ready for that next stage some of you are making a decision to migrate change in residence here also a change in your career path right the empress here is a very creative port force um, it's also you being able to manifest something different putting your skill set out there unleashing your highest potential it's like everything you touch here is just going to grow and expand and flourish you might also be expanding yourself on social media this could be a completely different platform that you are exploring right now it's a different avenue but it's saying that you have what it takes you're a creative person okay some of you this is also saying that you might be expanding your business overseas and as a result you might be actually meeting somebody new could be a libra a taurus energy okay because the Empress here is saying there's renewed sensuality, passion, and love on the horizon. Somebody's noticing how you're glowing up, how you're blossoming, okay? It's definitely a period of your life where you're just going to be very magnetic. You're going to be drawing a lot of opportunities. So remain open here, Aquarius. Don't be afraid to step into your power, okay? If you have been in isolation for a while or distancing yourself from for a while, perhaps also a lack of confidence, with yourself it's saying that in the next few weeks okay there will be this strong force to propel you to really put yourself out there and unleash your highest potential now we have five of swords the eight of cups the chariot and the queen of wands so yes there is nobody stopping you from going in that direction the chariot is saying you're using a lot of willpower to make things happen for you this is also another travel card. So despite opposing factors, despite challenging people in your environment, you already have a sense of new direction, okay? And you're, you're going to do whatever it takes to reach your destination, your goal. Now with Eight of Cups, this is you leaving a draining situation behind. In the past, there might have been still some emotional hooks. It made you look back in the past or second guess yourself. But I see that now you have a stronger conviction in you, Aquarius. To steer your life in a whole different direction that's the chariot card okay some of you might be a little bit awkward because you're still trying to figure things out along the way so essentially this is you learning as you go but what's important here is you're finally free to pursue a path that you've always been wanting to pursue there's a sense of liberation here aquarius right like nobody's going to be stopping you it's also a sense of you no longer needing any kind of validation from other people friends and family this is you living your life according to how you would want your life to be lived 
in your own set of standards. If in the past people may have been criticizing you, pressuring you, this could also be the energy of somebody trying to sabotage you or make you feel any less of who you are. It's like you are truly coming out of your shell. All right, Chariot and Queen of Wands, I just really sense this strong, powerful and dynamic energy from you. Um, it's saying that you're no longer going to compromise yourself so that others feel comfortable about themselves. Okay, it's going to be a different energy. You're living life freely without apology is what the cards are saying. Okay, I see that you're also handling situations with grace now. You're not letting any petty energy in your environment, argument or fight, tension, distract you from your goal. Okay, the chariot here is victory and success. Like I said, anything you touch here is going to grow and expand as long as you, you remain focused, okay? Because I feel like there's somebody from your past here who's still trying to keep you in the loop, keep you in this energy, potentially wanting to sort of sabotage the growth and progress. But it's saying that with the world and the empress, it's very undeniable how much you have outgrown the situation, Aquarius. So do not be limited here. There could also be some gossip, three of cups and five of swords. But see, this is already in your past. This is already behind you. And that's exactly what you should be doing here is to keep moving forward. Not pay attention to what others criticize of you. Especially if they're coming across here as they just really want to appear superior. They want to prove a point here or somehow uh, make you lack focus. Okay, they're trying to, I feel like somebody is trying to elicit some kind of reaction from you. But you have the ability to see situation with grace and compassion. Understand that some people could be behaving this way brought about by some kind of insecurity, some kind of stressful um, situation they're in as well. They're lashing out. Or this three of cups can mean perhaps people here couldn't believe that you, ha you have already outgrown them. Aquarius. It's about you recognizing there's going to be something out there beyond this mountains. There's going to be something in the horizon for me. So that's where you're heading here. It requires a lot of sacrifice on your end, of course. Releasing emotional uh, blockages, people, situations that may not be best to carry with you in this new journey. So with Eight of Swords, so this could also be in the mental plane, you know, people here trying to get in your mind, people telling you you can't pursue this, you can't do that, you know. But it's, they could be saying this because they themselves can't bring themselves to do what it is that you're currently doing. Because here with the chariot, you're using all your force, okay, to make things happen for you. It's, it's seemingly like against all odds here. And you're going to be very victorious because you believe in yourself, okay. It's saying here others perhaps don't believe in themselves. And there's also this energy of feeling defeated. It could be a tough exterior right now, ex uh, Aquarius, that they're showing you. Because, like you said, this is the best that they can do. They can try to gossip, talk about you, talk about what you're doing. But in reality, they can't get themselves to do what it is that you're doing here. The sacrifice that you're doing. Okay, you freeing yourself from the past. Also, this is you no longer binded to other people's opinion of you. Right? What matters is what you think of yourself. Okay, let's see. So we have the Page of Swords and the King of Swords. So the King of Swords is you trying to exclude your emotions and seeing things in a rational point of view. All right, like I said, this emotional hooks that somebody has been trying to manipulate or play mind games with you to elicit some kind of reaction is no longer appealing to you, working out with you. You're saying you don't have time for that anymore. Nobody has time for games. I want to move forward to the next level of my life. And as a result, with Page of Swords, you're kind of like in this beginner level, um, new outlook in life, really excited for what the future brings. This is also you, um, really perceptive, discerning, okay? You already have a good idea of who is talking behind your back, what energies have been trying to sabotage your success and your progress, and what other people could be saying about all your decision. It's like you're fully aware, but you're not letting that affect you anymore. Because here with King of Swords, there is maturity in you, Aquarius, right? You might be silent going through this process, but that means you're choosing your battles, if that makes sense. Some of you, it's also about um, really acting out of integrity at the end of the day. You're building good karma here, Aquarius, 
that's it that's the theme of your reading that's why with the world card there is successful completion this is not a sadness card at all you leaving a situation behind is you pursuing your happiness right and it's not a sad goodbye it's only saying that you're ready for that next stage for that higher consciousness higher awareness you already have a good idea of how you want to live your life and what you want to achieve some people are still figuring things out and because you have figured things out on your own it's like it's making them feel all sorts of insecurity now this five of swords is a very immature energy you know this could be somebody behaving rather um like childlike childish okay but i see that you're not giving in with king of swords this is also your need to connect from a place of rationality then sentimentality making fair and firm decision okay it could be not because you're taking your power back and you're seeing that you have to detach yourself um, other people like they feel they can no longer have control over your emotions because i see that you're shutting your emotions down because at some point you making decisions based on how you feel made you in this energy of eight of swords feeling very trapped or feeling like your hands are tied helpless but you're rediscovering this victorious side in you. This side of you that nobody can stop from progressing and moving forward. There's also a lot of people trying to look into your business here, Aquarius. I feel like I'm compelled to say that. Because I see that you're very focused on something good going on in your life here. Unbothered. Okay? You're aware, but you're not bothered. In fact, I see very positive cards for you. Very busy, very preoccupied. Uh, living your best life and focused on your own inner world. And other people here could be, there's this energy of stalking, okay? Wanting to get as much information as they can. Uh, but none of it is actually true. Because I feel like your decisions here, you're keeping those to yourself. You're not overly revealing things in the public anymore, if that makes sense. That's also the maturity that happened here. Keeping things on a need-to-know basis, right? Like I said, you don't need validation from others anymore. Others who could be quick to shut down your ideas, or tell you you can't do this you can't do that so what change here is you empowering yourself and believing in yourself okay in the beginning it could be a very awkward situation for you to be driving your own your own charioteer here making decision where you're going where you're heading in life because if in the past you were used to asking other people's opinion but i feel like things are becoming really really different for you here that's the maturity in you you're taking responsibility for your own choices for your own happiness your own decision whether good or bad, you know, it's like you want to live your life according to how you would want it to be. It's not about being selfish here or it's not about consider not considering others' feelings, but it's saying that you now know what's better for you because you're connecting with your higher self. It's also a sense of releasing your comfort zone, okay? Let's see. We have the Two of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Star card. So the Two of Cups can also mean self-love here, okay? And also you're searching for those two more cups, a real emotional connection after leaving a draining situation behind and there's definitely new love coming towards you okay it's a beautiful partnership it's a soulmate connection could be with another aquarius okay or air sign i see here as well water sign fire sign could be any sign really you probably will meet this person on your travels or from a different circle different background and with the star card this is you now aquarius shining ever brightly focusing on your dreams this is also a card of healing being stripped away from all of that in the past that pain that suffering that you've been through because of other people this is also you healing a sense of betrayal now with two of cups the more that you manifest love for yourself that's the kind of energy that you're also going to be attracting in your life okay the more that you turn to the positive and not into the negative aquarius you're building good karma and so be open for divine synchronicities, blessings coming towards you. Stars are also aligning for you to meet the right people, right connection in your life. Just remain open is what the cards are saying. Now with Ten of Swords, recognize that the past is already in the past. Don't give power, don't give energy to people in your past. Okay. It's saying here that whatever move you're making here, Aquarius, is all for the better. You can almost sense that you're also a different person now, reinvented, okay? And like you said, your growth is very undeniable, okay? It's, it's a period of, you know, hitting rock bottom, being betrayed by others, but choosing to do right. You didn't step down to their level. You didn't act out of integrity, out of, uh, you know, act of, you, you didn't act out of character, if that makes sense. You kept your integrity intact. 
you did what's rightfully um, according to what your intuition has has told you okay you followed your instinct here is what the cards are saying the king of swords is also your ability to observe people slow to speak but very observant very aware so with that kind of awareness and clarity of the mind you have a pretty good idea of how you want to live your life and situations that you need to cut out of your life okay it's not an easy process like i said but the chariot is saying look into your inner strength keep focusing on this direction don't look back okay aquarius there's so much more in store for the future some of you this is also about a work situation okay you might be receiving offer overseas or online here and it's time for you to make executive decision there is a good partnership or a very um reliable person coming in with a solid offer aquarius so perhaps take this time to reconsider all right it's not about making impulsive decision but remain open to a new different offer that you haven't experienced before take a break if you must and then once you're ready and you grasp the reins of your confidence a new path will be made clear to you you will also have this focus to get things done okay so let's get some soul need um soul's journey lesson cards for you here sorry for the stutter it is the retrograde all right so let's see what is the lesson that aquarius is currently learning right now what is the lesson that aquarius is currently learning right now please forgiveness it's saying here i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love so that's what change in you here no longer harboring any kind of low vibrational emotion about the past situation you're releasing all of that okay it's not about condoning somebody's behavior but having that kind of freedom so this will no longer keep you in the loop let's see what the booklet has to say it says you can never flow with your natural energy of love unless you release the negative energy of hate anger intolerance or blame every soul in your path has free will and you have no control over that what you do have control over is how you, you react to the manifestation of others free will holding on to the negative energy will strengthen karmic cycles and forgiveness can break that pattern the most important person you must learn to forgive is always yourself. Blaming yourself for failures blocks the natural flow of love, which will attract all good things into your life. Yes. So attract love and it will attract all good things in your life. Okay. So it's a lesson that you're learning right now is to forgive. Okay. So this is your reading Aquarius. I hope the message got through to you. Please take only what resonates and leave out what doesn't. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.